everybody, I am Ree and today we are doing a re book pick kind of review on Loving Summer by Caitlin Cow. Um, okay, so this is my book. This is a book that is rented from the library and I finally got a library card and I was so excited that I went straight to the library and I wanted to get three books, three to five books, that were standalone novels, which, you know, can be quite difficult. <sighs> okay. This is not a standalone. This is a series, or at least the beginning of a series. It's a fairly new series. Alright. I like this book. I really, really do. There's a couple of things that kind of irritate me about this book. Um, for one, the pages are very thick, so it is not as much a book that I thought it was. Two, I really was trying not to get a series because I don't like reading series in the library because I like to read them like one after the other majority of the time if I can't if I can't help it. But yeah. Third. This is such a waste of paper space. Look at that. It's like, I don't know. I wish there was more print on the page. I really do. Um, so that's about the physical book itself. Let's go into the story. <clears throat> summer. It's a summer book. It's placed in summer. The girl's name is Summer. It gets kind of confusing in the beginning when they're talking about Summer and talking to Summer and Summer's talking. And But it's it's a teen type young adult. It's a teen type book. Um, it's very light. It's very fluffy. There's no kind of action whatsoever. Well, there kind of is action, but not... You know what I mean. Now that I'm getting older, it's a noticeably kid type book. Um, but I liked it. It was really refreshing. Um, so, Summer, and her best friend that she hasn't seen in a long time is going to spend some time at her aunt's house with her best friend's two brothers. It's a little to, to, to and fro on, because since they haven't seen each other in a long time and all this stuff. It starts to go, and she's like all pretty, and she's not awkward looking. Well, she wasn't really awkward looking, but she's very beautiful. She's become a very beautiful young lady. And so, and so, everybody takes notice. The two brothers take notice, even the one that she's had a crush on for a very long time. And this new guy that's at, or that she really likes too. So, it's gets pretty, not intense, it gets, it gets pretty on the drama side when it comes to her dating one of the guys and the two brothers start to be very jealous. And <clears throat> other stuff happens, no, I don't want to give too much away, and then um, a lot of stuff happens, mostly about the, the, the love, not really triangle, it's more like a square. Yeah, I love square. Um, it's cute. It's fairly innocent. Um, I like it. I think it's refreshing to read after reading something. Like, after I was reading this after, and it was so different. Just reading something light and kind of innocent, and then changing to the books I normally read, which has, it's, it's more physical and stuff like that. Which, I'm not saying I read, like, those kind of books. I'm talking about, like, the House of Night, you know, or even talking about stuff like even like the Goddess of the Sea. It has pretty in detail type stuff. This really does not, not really. Um, so I found it really refreshing. I love it. Um, I can't wait to read the second book of the series, which is out already. I think it was out since February. Um, I do want to get this on my Kindle just because the text won't really bother me. And also because if you buy this on Amazon, it's like $9. And if you buy it on um, the Kindle, 
it's like three, and so I think it's quite a good deal. Um, so I'm probably going to be buying this series on my Kindle, not my Kindle, but my, my iPad, but my Kindle app, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I was really excited to read this, and hopefully I can get the second one soon, so I figure what's going to happen with all this stuff. Um, I think the third one's supposed to come out in, in the end of this week, year, or the next, the beginning of next year. I'm not sure, um, but the other one just came out in February, the second one just came out in February, so I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, this is this re-book pick, re mini review, not really a review because I didn't really go into anything because I hate spoiling things for you guys. I don't do reviews very well because I don't like to spoil, but I do like to recommend. So I do recommend this if you're in the mood for something light and something like fairly innocent. And uh, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.